So my daughter has this necklace. It's nothing fancy. It's just a, a little souvenir necklace we got while we were on vacation. And the jump ring continually opens up and so it releases the other end of the necklace and then her little pendant falls off. And so what I'm going to show you how to do is solder something so small like a jump ring to keep it from opening up. Okay, before we start soldering, I'm going to give you guys a little block of instruction. This is lead-free silver solder from the plumbing section at Home Depot, and then in the same aisle you have this flux paste. And then my torch is just from Amazon. It's a little jewelry torch. Now here's what I want you to pay attention to, and I have these two paper clips to give you the example. Solder will only stick to metal when it has not been oxidized. And so I'm going to take this paper clip, and I'm going to dip it into the soldering paste, just so that you guys can see how this is supposed to work. This one, I'm not going to dip in just yet. But I'm going to cut myself a piece of solder. There we go. And on the left we have the paper clip with some soldering paste. And I'm going to put this piece of solder right on top. And then I'm going to heat this one up on the left here. And what you'll see is as the metal heats up, it accepts the solder very easily. Now I'm going to heat up this paper clip. And you can already see it changed color. There we go. Now that it's red hot, it's definitely not going to accept it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now that this paper clip is cooled off, I'm going to dip it into the flux and we're going to attempt to solder it. Okay, here we go. Now watch what happens when I do the same exact thing. Okay, there's my solder. Now you see how it just balled up and goes to the side? It's not going to accept the solder because the metal has been oxidized. So remember that solder will only stick to metal before it's oxidized. If that happens, we're going to have to clean it off and then try it again. Alright, I'm zoomed in here. Hopefully my camera will stay focused, but you can see that there's a gap at that jump ring at the very top. Now this is super small. You see my fingertip and it's comparison. So we're not gonna have many tries. In fact, we're only gonna have one chance to get this right. If this doesn't work, then we'll go about it a different way. But what I'm gonna do is try to solder this little tiny jump ring together. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting on our soldering paste. I'm gonna use a little paintbrush Now, I'm going to get myself a piece of solder. Now, I'm not going to show it on video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer this solder flat, and then I'm going to cut a section off with my diagonal cutting pliers. Okay, this piece of solder is very tiny. You can just barely see it on the tip of my finger there. But if I were able to zoom in, you'd see that it's bent into the letter V. Just a tiny piece of solder, and I'm going to balance this on top of the jump ring. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, when I light the torch, I'm going to aim for probably right through the center of that jump ring because I want the heat to pull the solder downwards. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, I don't know if I got it. I may or may not have. I guess we're just gonna find out. But you see how the solder went with gravity. And so with my next try, I'm going to adjust it so that the solder will go downwards. The jump ring is reoriented. I'm going to put some solder where I want the little blob of solder to flow. And this time I'm going to use a little pushing stick or a paper clip. And I'm just going to try to help drag the solder into the place that I want it to go. Now this is going to happen really fast, so hopefully everything works out. Yeah, that little blob got right into the jump ring opening. I'll take a picture so that you guys can see. But mission complete. That jump ring will never come open again. Okay, here's another way to do this. I'm going to take some solder and I'm going to snip it off. Let it fall into my soldering block. And I'm just going to 
heat it up so that it melts together into a ball. Okay. Now I'm going to take my paper clip. Here's my paper clip over here. I'm going to dip it into the flux. And then I'm going to just pick up some solder onto the paper clip. There you go. All right, so you can see I have a little bit of solder on my paper clip. And I'm going to use that to dab it onto the jump ring. Now this is something you have to do very quickly. Otherwise, you're going to oxidize your jump ring and it's not going to work. All right, don't forget to put your flux on there. Flux is our friend. I'm going to heat up the solder first and then I'm going to bring it down onto the jump ring. I got it on that time. It might be hard for you to see, but there's a little burr that came off of it. And so I'm just going to use a little hobby file to get rid of that. With a little bit of practice, you should be able to get the soldering just right so that you can barely even see which side the joint is on. Thanks for watching. Whoa. Emergency.